Don Hannan, the Managing Director for Fortress Investment Group and a former Acting Chief Economist at Citigroup. Many thanks for joining us this morning, Don. Uh, first of all, your reaction, was this a successful meeting or not? I think it... I think it had some elements that were successful, but I don't think it actually solves the, the basic problem is still there, partly because it's not just a question of doing fiscal adjustments, but it's a question of providing finance over that period of time in which the market remains doubtful about the success of those programs. What do you think should have been the progress that wasn't achieved? Well, it's a two-part process. One is uh, you didn't make progress going forward on this fiscal compact. But the difficulty with a fiscal compact is that it will take time to put in place not just the arrangement, but also the economic outcomes in terms of improving the path of, of debt for many of the countries in Europe. And during that period, you need financing. And that financing is most likely to come or would be most helpful if it came from the ECB. Uh, but the ECB deferred from that, saying the problem is still a fiscal problem, a government problem, and not one that the ECB can solve. How would, you, how would you rate Mario Draghi's term so far, Giz? And pretty, obviously, a lot of pressure, but again, should the ECB be buying bonds or not? Yes, the ECB should be buying bonds. What uh, Mr. Draghi has done is, of course, ease monetary conditions, provide a crucial support for the banking system. That, however, is dealing with the symptoms, not with the cause. The cause of the problems that the banks have in raising money, to a large extent, is the difficulties or the concerns that investors have about the quality of their sovereign bonds. In order to be able to diminish those concerns, it would be helpful if the ECB would act as a buyer of last resort for those bonds, capping the yields and creating greater confidence in the market that the banks will have the adequate capital and the adequate liquidity to move forward. That's a big question, isn't it, really, Don? Have they got the adequate capital? Today we have two bond auctions, Italy and France. They have to be strong again after this weekend's meeting. But again, clearly, is there enough money? That's the big question to last another 12 months, I'd say. If you were relying on the EFSF or the ESM, those are the two, uh, the, well, the EFSF is the existing structure for providing support uh, to the sovereign countries within uh, the Eurozone. And you have the European Stability uh, Mechanism, which will come afterwards next July. That was moved forward by the agreements last week. If you're relying on that, you don't have enough money, probably, given the magnitude of rollovers in key countries like Italy and Spain. But the euro um, is an infinite supply in principle were the ECB to print it. And that's plenty of money to deal with the problem. But the ECB has to decide that that's what it wants to do. How do you think an Asian investor should or is going to react to all this? Again, clearly the exports of the capital outflows are a big concern, but what do you think Monday morning will mean for the Asian investor? I'm afraid that the Monday morning or, or the results of, of uh, late last week imply that the uncertainty that revolves around Europe is something that we'll still have to deal with here in Asia over the course of the coming months until we get to a period in which there's enough stress in Europe for the ECB to step in and provide that liquidity in combination with the fiscal adjustments that will actually solve the problem. Which makes the ECB then more reactive than actually proactive, doesn't it? Which is not a good thing. That's part of the difficulty for investors, that unfortunately it's probably going to take further weakness in sovereign spreads, in uh, equity prices, and economic activity in Europe for the ECB to change its course. And that's unfortunately going to be an overhang and a pressure on Asian assets or assets globally. Don Hanna, many thanks for joining us this morning. Don Hanna, the, the MD of Fortress Investment Group, joining us from Singapore.